Uh, welcome to the uh, wall issue revisited again, again, again. I just got through doing this uh, uh, model right here, and, and there was a, something interesting that came up, and it's back to the wall layers. And here's a situation right here, F6. And let me see if I can find that. Oh, yeah, it's right. Well, I don't even know why I get that funny material. But here it is right here. See this connection between this stucco wall and this drywall wall, and I, I get the fact that this probably shouldn't should be a, shouldn't be a stucco wall. But but suppose it is a stucco wall. See this thing that's that's popping through right there. Why is that color like that? Oh, unable to hold on a sec. Oh, that's interesting. Why why can't I edit that material? You. Layer material, <laughs> my brain screwed up, man. <laughs> Plan material, how about drywall one? Okay, and uh, library material, uh, drywall, uh, cancel. Sorry, <laughs> it's so funny. I, I just got through making another wall, and it, uh, I guess it messed up on me. Okay, uh, I don't know why. It just, it, I, I merged two drywall ones together. Let's see if this fixes it real quick. And, and, I, and I'm going to show you something that I did here, and it has to do with uh, all walls having the same number of layers on it. So you see this plywood that's poking through? Well, I, I and, and this wall right here, this wall right here that I'm talking about is a uh, U. It's an interior existing four jib board, two sides. This time I'm going to change it to a hybrid. Now, what is a hybrid? It's, I just I just made this up a second ago. I got seven sixteenths and one sixteenth, which is a half inch, and that's drywall one, and that's that should be drywall one. Just to be consistent, I don't know why, but I'm I'm just being consistent here. Uh, dry, drywall one, and this is drywall one, and it is perfect. Now, what I did here is instead of a ha one layer of half inch chipboard, I added two layers, uh, one and one sixteenth and seven sixteenths, so it adds up to seven, uh, a half inch. So, so now I'm going to make it a hybrid wall. Now watch what happens. I think it's going to, I'm going to get rid of that plywood. And once in a while we run across, or I run across this kind of stuff where, because, there it is. See, I got, I got rid of the, I got rid of the plywood poking through. So here's, here's what I'm getting at. In fact, in fact, uh, you know, sometimes when you have, in fact, I'm gonna make I'm not I'm gonna make another uh I'm gonna make another uh, uh wall. I'm gonna make this one uh you I'm gonna make this uh copy hybrid two and on this one I'm gonna make this one sixteenth of an inch and this is seven sixteenths of an inch. This is seven sixteenths of an inch, and it's almost back to your paint layer thing, right? One sixteenth. You know, do you have a paint layer and stuff? Okay. Uh, one sixteenth. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And so, this is what we're trying to get. You know, when two walls come together and you get this thickness because of the drywalls, whatever it is, and you really want just a really super clean corner. Look at this. See, now it's only one sixteenth of an inch. Now, suppose I go ahead and take this wall. U, and I go structure through and through. Now I'm thinking I'm going to get a nice clean corner in the a nice clean paint corner right there. That's the, that's the goal. And I don't know if I and and I, I think uh, Perry says we don't. Yeah, yeah, there it is. See how clean that is. And I, and I, I mean, sixteenth of an inch. I mean, maybe that's how thick paint is. But now you got a real clean corner. And if you remember on uh, the ceiling assemblies and stuff, uh, Chief adds uh, a paint layer, and it's defined as zero. But I wonder if what they've really done is they put a paint layer of one one twenty eighth of an inch, and you'll notice that. In fact, here I'll do this one. Uh, you uh, wall type define copy. Hybrid three. Now this is going to be uh, uh, point 0.5. This is point 0.5, and now that this is going to be like the paint layer, and so this is one one twenty eighth. 
See, it zeroes out to zero. One, one twenty-eighth. Zero and zero. Look at this. Uh, they say it's... Ugh, I don't like that. Eh. Uh, one, one, tw that's probably as small as I can get. I don't like this. So I might have to go back to uh, one, one, tw uh, uh, one, one, twenty eighth, uh, sixty four. Oh, I gotta figure this out. Sixty four. So that's sixty three and one twenty eighth. Control sixty three. Sixty three and sixty three is what? I had one, one, twenty, one, uh, sixty four. Yeah, that's it. Control C and go over here. Control V. Uh, you see, it rounds off to a half inch, but it's nice at four and a half inches right there. Everything's okie doke. Now that's hybrid three, okay? And it's essentially your paint layer. And I think what maybe when Cheap adds their paint layer to their ceilings, if we've noticed that before, I think what they probably do is really make it one one twenty eighth of an inch, and it just we think it's zero, but it's not. There you go. See how much cleaner that is? So this is what I'm getting at. and I'm not sure if it's going to cause any problems, but uh, and I, I think Bill Emery or I talked to Jerry Teacher about this. And uh, uh, he, they said you need to have the same number of layers on this interior face and this interior face that meet. Well, I don't want to be flipping this wall around back and forth. So I'm saying, why not just give both sides of that wall that extra layer? So when you have this funny situation, you get you get a super clean look. And I've talked about this before, and it's like the, the when ceilings, God, man, this is this is it. This is freaking it, man. When when ceiling like like dormer situations, when ceilings hit your knee walls and stuff. If you'll ever notice, you have a different a material for your drywall and uh, for your the drywall at the knee wall and the drywall at the ceiling. You'll you'll see a thickness of the drywall there. You don't have a, you won't have a nice clean paint paint corner. So Chief has really done us a favor by putting that paint layer on the ceilings, and we can do it our, of course, uh, ourselves, of course. But what we haven't done, or I haven't done, is I haven't added essentially a paint layer to the walls, and that's how you get those nice clean corners. Ain't that cool? Ain't that cool, man? I just, I just, uh, that's cool. And, and then of course, I can, I could take this wall here, and I go a U, and I, I can go. Let me just check this out real quick. Through wall and through through wall. Let me see if the the stucco goes past the drywall now. Let's see which takes precedence. I don't know. Oh, yep. See now, now the stucco's showing through, and so now you don't get that nice clean corner. So you have to come back over to this one right here. You, in fact, in fact, for stucco, I don't know. You figure it out. But anyway, now I'll go back and let's see if I can do this one. Now, if I if I can go back to the nice clean corner. So the point of this is, no. I guess I have to undo this one. F twelve. I guess I have to undo this wall. I don't know why. I don't know why. They're both the through walls. You. And uh, I just don't uh, through it on both sides. And I should get my nice clean corner again. The point is, I think I might start putting a zero, a one one twenty eighth inch drywall layer on my walls just for this. There it is. Nice clean corner. All right. That's great. I, I've already talked about this once, but... Um, this is this is a prime example of why, you know. So you don't have to. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, in, in, uh, and it kind of goes back to the brick. I don't know. Oh, here's one. Here, here's a, here's a here's a situation over here. Look at this situation here. I have. Let's just go ahead and change this wall back. If I go back a layer, uh, let's go. Let's see what happens. If I take this wall and just pull it out to here, you think the brick's going to be showing or what? What's what's going to be showing? What's what's going to be the end condition? I know this doesn't happen a whole lot. Uh,
How about if I go you and through and through? You think it's going to stop? You, you think it's going to stop the uh, brick this time? What do you think? You know what I'm saying? No. Oh, do I have an extra wall? In? Oh, I have an extra wall in there. No wonder you knit with. There. Now I got. I had, I had that extra wall. I had an extra wall in there because of, you know what. So here. So here. Oh, check that out. Look how thick. See that brick is wrapping all the way around. And then there's something right here. I don't even know what that is. Uh, vector view. Vector view. Vector view. Vector view. See that? See how that wrapped around like that? I mean, you might want it like that. I don't know. I want this wall to go through and through. It does. Cancel. This wall here, you, I don't want it to go through and through. Oh, uh, oh, th th that's the case. I I've got one more layer of, of the brick. So the brick is going to, I mean, I've got more layers in this wall than this wall. So if you wanted, well, let's try it. Uh, hang on a second. Let's see if I can do this. No, W. I don't. I, I, I was trying to stretch this out. I'll, I'd never do it though. But if I wanted to, I could. You, anyway, it's all about layers. I mean, this this rarely, rarely comes up, but it's a it's a way of learning. <sighs> Well, still, well, you. I don't want that through and through. Yeah, see, see how thick that brick is. This, see how thick this brick is. This brick is is the, the thickness of the wall itself. So that brick, the brick. I think it is. No, I'm I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Sorry, I'm mis I'm mistaken. But I wonder why the brick's going past. The brick's going past because it's flushing out with that stucco. That's what it's doing. And the brick material really doesn't wrap around on that side, does it? Yeah, it's just flush with the with the stucco. It's just flush with the stucco, which I think makes sense. But I can't have the stucco cover the face of the brick. People have talked about this before. I can't have the stucco cover the face of the brick unless this stucco wall here has as many layers as this thing. And then I can do the through and through, and then this stucco finish will cover uh, the brick. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, bottom line, I think uh, the key for me is probably going back to all my interior walls and adding a second layer on each layer on each side. Uh, for that very situation. That's done.